Algebra 2, um, connect factoring, help. So now I'm going to talk about row 2, numbers 4 and 5. So again, I have the flow chart, and you've got yours. So first thing is, does the polynomial have a greatest common factor? So I'm looking, and there's not a common number except for one that I can divide into 4 and 9. And it doesn't have any common variables. So that's a no. So I look at how many terms there, there are. There are two terms. And so I ask myself, is it a difference of squares? Well, I can square 2x to give me 4, so yes. And I can square 3 to give me 9. So I write that as those terms added and then subtracted. So yes, I took the roots of each term. And then what do my directions say? I'm simply factoring, so I'm done. I have factored that. Now I look at my next problem, and I just go through that same thought process again. So do I have a greatest common factor? And I get those same numbers again, so that's a no. How many terms are there? Two, so I'm looking for a difference of squares. And yes, because I can square 3x to give me 9x squared, and I can square 2 to give me 4. So 3x and 2. And so that's how this will factor. That fits into my difference of squares pattern. So my directions say just to factor, and I've done that, so I'm finished with this problem. So again, that factoring pattern, you just have to figure out if you have something that's being squared minus something else that's being squared. And so in the problem that we just did, it was 3x that was being squared, and a 2 that was being squared. And then it will factor as a plus b times a minus b, or the first term plus the second times the first term minus the second.